Hello all and welcome to uh, the second anatomy and physiology screencast for tonight. This is going to be our muscular contraction types. Now, what we have to know for um, these types, and it's not just as easy as this, so we're going to have to do some application in the lessons, but ultimately you have to be able to first uh, define what a concentric muscle contraction is, what an eccentric muscle contraction is, and what an isometric muscle contraction is. So what they basically mean are as follows. Concentric muscle contraction is where the muscle shortens under tension. So I could ask you to do that now. And what happens is, so if for example you're standing with your arm straight and you lift your arm up to do a bicep curl, you will feel the bicep in the middle of your kind of upper arm will shorten. Okay? And it causes your elbow joint, that pull of the bicep when it's shortening causes the elbow joint to flex. Okay? So that's kind of what we're looking at. Concentric contraction is where the muscle shortens under tension. Now, if you're still holding your arm in that position now and you have it at the top of a bicep curl with a flexed elbow, if you move down, what happens is an eccentric contraction because the bicep brachii now will lengthen as it goes down. And you will see that happen, visually see that as it happens. Now what happens is, the, the bicep bracket on that downwards phase, when the eccentric contraction happens of the muscle, you'll see it scrunched up at the top, and then it starts to lengthen out as you go down. And as you do that, it controls the movement. Now that is the downward phase, it's also known as a negative phase. And the key focus, I mean there's two ways you can look at it. One is it controls the movement or the function. The other is it resists gravity and it stops your arm from just banging straight down. So people who go to do weight training at the gym, people will say on the upward phase of a movement, e.g. the concentric contraction of the bicep, it shortens, and on the way down you do a slow negative contraction which will allow you to recruit more muscle fibres. You don't need to know that, but you just that might explain why people say slow on the way down. So you control it, and that is an eccentric contraction of your bicep brachii, and it helps slow it. So it resists gravity, etc. The final muscle contraction is very rarely examined, and it's really easy to understand, is an isometric muscle contraction. Now this basically means the muscle is under tension but it stays the same length. So your muscle cell does not move in length, it doesn't get shortened, it does get shorter, sorry, and it doesn't lengthen. So for example, it might be a situation like at the top of, uh, or say for example at the bottom when you're gripping a bar to do a, a bicep curl but you haven't moved it yet, your muscles are contracting. They're not moving, but they are contracting. If you have somebody uh, in a rugby scrum and there's an equal force applied by both players, and they're going together, the muscles are contracting, but they stay the same length. So muscle under tension stays the same length. Your ultimate kind of thing on this is going to be to do with kind of the muscle length. Concentric, muscle shortens under tension. Eccentric, muscle lengthens under tension. Isometric, muscle uh, produces tension but stays the same length. Now, there's a little bit more detail obviously here for eccentric contraction. You need to have this in your Cornell notes and also you can have a little bit there. Now, what we are going to do in your lesson, which will be on f uh, Monday now, we'll be focusing on specific exam questions that are tough and are based around these. And the sooner you understand the kind of formula for this, the better. So, we're going to be looking at the upward and downward phase of one specific movement, the bicep curl and the role of the bicep brachii on the upward and downward phase. I've kind of gone through it a little bit. We're going to try and apply that to concentric and eccentric muscle contraction. So that will be the lesson on Monday. Please make notes on these three types of contractions and make sure you have a little bit extra on the eccentric contraction. Okay, thank you.